हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्रामा क्लास टूडेज लेसन इज रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस वी ऑल नो दैट इन इंग्लिश ग्रामा अ प्रोनाउन इज ए वर्ड दैट इज यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ अ नाउन इनफैक्ट अ प्रोनाउन रेफर्स टू अ सर्टन नाउन एंड इट इज यूज इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड द अननेसेसरी रिपीटेशन ऑफ द नाउन इन अ सेंटेंस आई वी यू ही सी इट दे which me us etc are examples of pronouns now look at the first pair of sentences here i met john he was returning from the market in the second sentence he is a pronoun because it is used instead of john the noun used in the first sentence but when these two sentences are combined i met john who was returning from the market the pronoun who is used in place of he to refer to the noun john in the second pair of sentences the pronoun it is used in the second sentence instead of the noun movie used in the first sentence but in the combined sentence the pronoun which is used to modify the foregoing noun movie well now that we have understood the concept of pronouns let's learn relative pronouns well a relative pronoun introduces an adjective or relative clause and comes immediately after a noun in a sentence in other words a relative pronoun initiates or starts an adjective or relative clause that modifies or describes a preceding noun or pronoun in a sentence and the noun that a relative pronoun follows or refers to in the sentence is called its antecedent now study this sentence on your screen The lady who is speaking to the chief guest is my mother. In this sentence, the subordinate clause who is speaking to the chief guest is the adjective or relative clause. And as you can see, this dependent or subordinate adjective clause is initiated by the relative pronoun who. The noun lady placed just before the relative pronoun who in the sentence is called its antecedent. we understand that the adjective clause or relative clause in the sentence who is speaking to the chief guest is modifying or adding some information about its antecedent the lady so you see a relative pronoun always comes right after its antecedent in a sentence in this sentence the relative pronoun who is placed right after its antecedent lady to relate to it Now let me tell you there are five commonly used relative pronouns in English grammar and these are who whom whose which and that three other words what but and as are also sometimes used as relative pronouns now of the five common relative pronouns mentioned earlier who is used only for human beings or people and remember the relative pronoun who is always used as the subject of the adjective or relative clause it is always in the subjective or nominative case on the other hand the relative pronoun whom is also used for human beings only but it is used only in the objective case it is used as the object of the relative or adjective clause so we learn that the relative pronouns who and whom are used for human beings only but while who is used as the subject of the relative clause whom is used as the object of the relative clause however the relative pronoun whose is used for all living and non living beings and whose is always used in the possessive or genitive case it indicates the possession or ownership of its antecedent but what about the relative pronoun which well the relative pronoun which is used for all non living and living beings except for human beings we learn that the relative pronoun which is not used if the antecedent is a human being like i said earlier for a human being or a person we use the relative pronoun who and remember the relative pronoun which is used both as the subject or the object of the relative clause In other words which can be used as a relative pronoun in both the nominative and the objective case the relative pronoun that is used for all living and non living beings 
that is used for human beings also but not if the antecedent is a proper noun or named in the sentence please remember that the relative pronoun that can also be used both in the nominative and in the objective case now see some examples of relative pronouns on your screen in the first example who is the relative pronoun after the antecedent student since the antecedent shows humans we have used the relative pronoun who here we also see here that the relative pronoun who is the subject of the relative clause who came late to modify the antecedent student in the second example whom is the relative pronoun for the antecedent sister but this relative pronoun is in the objective case because it is the object of the relative clause whom i love very much then in the third example who is the relative pronoun for the antecedent man but it's in the possessive case because it refers to the man's pocket in the fourth example the relative pronoun is which for the antecedent the road which indicates a non living thing in the sentence this is the car that i bought yesterday that is the relative pronoun for the antecedent car the relative pronoun that is used for both non living and living beings In the last example for the non-human antecedent tiger both which and that can be used as the relative pronoun here who cannot be used like i said earlier what but and as are also sometimes used as relative pronouns the relative pronoun what means that which and it has no antecedent or preceding noun in the sentence For example in the sentence what he said is shocking what is used as a relative pronoun without any antecedent preceding it again in the sentence tell us what you know what is the relative pronoun but it has no antecedent before it as is also used as a relative pronoun when the words such or same is used before its antecedent for example in the sentence i am facing the same problem as you did problem is the antecedent of the relative pronoun as in the next sentence we have never seen such a film as this as is the relative pronoun and its antecedent is film the relative pronoun but is used in a negative sense i mean in the sense of who not or which not for example there is no mother but loves her children here the word but is used as a relative pronoun which means who does not So this sentence means there is no mother who does not love her children. In the next sentence also but is a relative pronoun and it means there is none who does not want to be happy. In this way the relative pronoun but denotes a negative sense. Up next we have compound relative pronouns. Well compound relative pronouns are made by adding ever or so ever to who whom which and what. For example whatever whichever whoever whatsoever whomsoever etc now these compound relative pronouns have no antecedent or preceding noun in the sentence for example in the sentence do whatever you like whatever is the compound relative pronoun it means do anything which you like the compound relative pronoun whoever is made by adding ever to who it means anyone who so in the sentence whoever wants to go home may leave now whoever is the compound relative pronoun in the last example whom soever is the compound relative pronoun soever is added to whom to make whom soever we notice here that before all these compound relative pronouns there is no antecedent in the sentence up next we have the omission of relative pronouns like i said earlier a relative pronoun may be in the nominative or objective or possessive case but if a relative pronoun is in the objective case it is often omitted or left out in the sentence however a relative pronoun in the nominative or the possessive case cannot be omitted or left out so that means if a relative pronoun is the object of the relative or adjective clause in the sentence it may be omitted or left out but when the relative pronoun is the subject of the relative clause or when it shows the possession of its antecedent it cannot be left out or omitted from the sentence 
in the first example here the relative pronoun whom is in the objective case it's the object of the relative clause whom i invited to my birthday party hence it may be left out or omitted in the sentence the boys i invited to my birthday party are my friends in the next example the relative pronoun that or which is also in the objective case so the sentence may be written even without the relative pronoun the book you gifted me is very useful similarly in the third example too the relative pronoun that or which is in the objective case in this sentence the relative pronoun is the object of the relative clause and so such a relative pronoun may be left out from the sentence we really enjoyed the story that she told us becomes we really enjoyed the story she told us after the omission of the relative pronoun but in the last example the relative pronoun that is in the nominative case here that is the subject of the relative clause that box hence in this case the relative pronoun that cannot be left out or omitted in the sentence so make no mistake only a relative pronoun in the objective case may be omitted or left out in the sentence another important thing to remember is that a relative pronoun should be placed as close to its antecedent as possible preferably right after it in the sentence in the sentence the car which broke down was repaired at a nearby garage the relative pronoun which has come right after the antecedent car here the relative pronoun relates to the noun ka clearly and the sentence is absolutely right but see in the next sentence the relative pronoun which is far apart from the antecedent ka here the relative pronoun which seems to refer to the noun garage from this sentence it seems not the ka but the garage had a breakdown in the next example the relative pronoun who comes right after its antecedent boy to modify it we understand that a certain boy came late so he was punished by the teacher so the sentence is correct but in the next sentence the relative pronoun who and the relative clause who came late is away from the noun boy from this sentence it seems that it was the teacher who came late and not the boy so to avoid such ambiguities the relative pronoun should come right after its antecedent next if a relative pronoun is in the nominative case that is if it is the subject of the relative clause it agrees with the number and person of its antecedent or the preceding noun for example in the first sentence the antecedent child is singular so the relative pronoun who is also singular we have a singular verb speaks after the relative pronoun who but in the second sentence the antecedent children is plural so the same relative pronoun who is plural here and we have used a plural verb speak after it in the next example the antecedent paul is a singular noun so the relative pronoun who is followed by the singular verb is but after the pronoun antecedent i the relative pronoun who is followed by the verb am in the sentence so you see the verb of the relative pronoun agrees with the antecedent in number and person sometimes the relative pronoun is used with the preposition of a verb in the adjective or relative clause and the preposition may be placed either before the relative pronoun or after the verb in the subordinate relative clause for example in the sentence the boy with whom i was sitting is my best friend the preposition with is used before the relative pronoun whom but this sentence may also be reconstructed as the boy who i was sitting with is my best friend please notice in the second construction the preposition with comes after the verb sitting in the relative clause and not before the relative pronoun who then in the sentence the house in which she grew up is in ruins now the preposition in is placed before the relative pronoun which but the preposition in may also be used after the verb grew up in the relative clause the house which she grew up in is in ruins now but it's important to remember that with the relative pronoun that no preposition is used as far as the relative pronoun that is concerned we know that it is used both for persons and things but remember 
द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन दैट इज नॉट यूज फॉर अ नेम्ड पर्सन ओ थिंग इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ द एंटीसीडेंट इज अ प्रॉपर नाउन अ नेम्ड पर्सन ओ थिंग वी शुड यूज द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस हु ओ विच आई जस्ट मेट मिस्टर जॉन हु इज अ वेल नोन सिंगर This sentence is correct because the relative pronoun who is used after the proper noun antecedent Mr John. However, the sentence I just met Mr John that is a well known singer is incorrect. Why? Because the relative pronoun that cannot be used after the proper noun Mr John. After the superlative degree also the relative pronoun that is used. Well then the relative pronoun that is also used after the words like all same any nothing the only etc For example all that glitters is not gold In the second example the relative pronoun that comes after the antecedent nothing In the last sentence the relative pronoun that follows the antecedent from because of the superlative degree adjective the best Remember in these special cases the relative pronoun which cannot be used in place of that That's the end of today's class hopefully you liked the video please be sure to like comment share and subscribe to my channel for more grammar videos thank you so much